Hey, today I'm going to show you guys real quick how to fix your Norwegian tax deduction card. This video will be helpful for all of my friends first of all and for me because I save time repeating it over and over again to people and I hope it will be helpful for the rest of you that come across that too. Also, I will share with you a few practical things and hacks regarding your taxes. So first uh, we need to do is to log into Scatter.net page using your bank ID app or bank ID. And here you see the big blue button that says that you can change your tax card. We click on it and come to the main page with all the information. What I want to say first is that it's better to adjust everything here as soon as you get the notification via your email or beginning of January, so you don't get surprised by the automatic calculation system made. If you are not change, uh, if you not change it in time, all what will happen is that you may get more or less money after taxes in your paycheck. So in the first window, you need the set amount of money that you're planning to earn this year don't need to be precise to the crone then here in the menu you can choose to add other options of income for example jobless money sick leave money or parental leave money if you're receiving money from NAF or um, whatever income you might else have Many people get scared to log in here and change something, but I can tell you that there is nothing tragic if you put the wrong number in. You can always come back and change it as many times as you want during the year. By the way, in the end of the video, I will explain what you can do if some months of the year you need more money. Like now, many people would want a few extra thousand for electricity bills, for example. So if there was already a few windows here or when you just logged in, it means uh, the system transferred information from previous year uh, automatically and you probably received some payments from NAV or somewhere else except for your main income. If you're not planning to receive nothing except for salary this year, you can simply delete this. So here you can add your planned income if you have a company or have a private extra work, for example, as a babysitter or there's a lot of different options. And down here you can add your own properties or high value possessions like a boat or cash. There is a lot of options to choose between, so I will not go into that. And then we are moving to family situation and here you can see information that special tax deduction for single parents were cancelled from March 2023. So you have option to add it only for two months. Also, it is uh, full or half. Depends on the child custody you have right now. Uh, NAF decided to add more money every month to the child support for single parents. And in their logic, it should give the same amount of money in a year in total. Also, here you can uh, add amount of money. Uh, you can, yeah, add amount of money you pay for kindergarten or another official childcare. And here you can add your loans and interest on the loans. Uh, this year, uh, interest set higher automatically. So I advise you to check it with your bank and put the correct amount. Because if amount is higher, uh, it means uh, there is less taxes to pay. And in the final calculations next year, you will need to pay back these taxes. So now when we go down to the final result, you can see sometimes uh, tabel 
or you can see a percentage of tax that you need to pay. If you already had a percentage from beginning and want back the tabel, just go up to the first window and tickle this window a little, like uh, change up your income or erase it and put it back. So uh, when you go down again, it will give you an option uh, with this little window and then you can uh, choose uh, what you want by simply clicking this box. Personally, I prefer percentage because you can control amount of taxes you pay yourself. Uh, and now I will explain how you can change amount of taxes you pay during the year. So when you put income up here that you expect to make and you go down and see below, for example, that percentage of taxes you need to pay is high and maybe you need extra money right now. What you can do is to change your income you expect to receive to the lower amount. And you can see uh, now here uh, the percentage have changed. It is absolutely legal to do, but I want to warn you that state doesn't care how you adjust it here during the year as long as you pay it all back in the end. If you know that you are good with saving up some money, during the year to pay back next year, this can be a very good loan because when you borrow some money from taxes during the year, you need to pay it back exactly the same amount next year. So it's a loan without any interest really. But if you pay more taxes, like most of people do, then you give your money to the state as a loan and they pay you back next year without any interest as well. So now I have 10% taxes and uh, we, what we need to do, uh, if your employee doesn't automatically seek uh, your tax card every month, uh, is to notify accounting of your company or both that you want to, uh, that, that you change your uh, tax card. Other thing you can do is after a few months, uh, logging back and adjust your income higher so you will get a new tax card with higher tax percentage that you're supposed to pay. And it will even your taxes so you don't need to pay nothing back. For example, if you know that your rate is 30% first half a year, you can adjust it to pay 20%, for example. And the second half of the year, pay 40%. Again, when you change it, don't forget to notify your employee that you changed it. Also, don't forget to submit uh, your changes after you're done. And uh, that was it. If you guys have some questions, hit me up in the comments and let me know what else you would like explained.